do so many things in our lives uh, as such as this show uh, that I'm trying to convey here. It is difficult to keep focused and try to do everything correct. John, how many of these shows have you done? Well, uh, uh, this is uh, easily 300. Wow. 300 shows. Wow. That's right. That's a lot of miles. It's like airtime. I always liken it to like pilot airtime. The pilots, you know, they've flown, you know, millions of miles. Your pilot, you know. And uh, you're flying your own airline here. Uh, this is sort of like, you know, there's a lot of airtime. You know, a lot of actors, wannabe actors, or people just want to get their mug on TV, never get a chance to do that. Except for, in this case, cable access TV, which is, of course, you're watching because you love to watch cable access TV. Uh, okay, 9% incline. I opened up the pickles. Let's try to uh, bread this pickle here. Uh, I know we're neglecting the painting and it is a painting show, but sometimes that's the whole idea about painting is that you don't want to get so bogged down about what you're doing. It's good to kind of mix it up sometimes. Okay, let's put some flour down here. Now I've never done this, so maybe not do this at home, but maybe we'll cut this in half here. I bet you that's kind of hot enough. Let's see. All right. I'm just gonna put some, some flour here. I, I presume that's not the right kind of batter, but we'll just try it. Oh, it's, it's doing something, and that's what we like. Visually speaking, it looks good, doesn't it? And that's all we care about. That's all TV cares about, is that it looks good. All right, here we go. Got a couple of fried pickles for you on the grill. Uh, get, me, get my paper here. Move that, I guess that's in your way, huh? We'll put it down over here. Okay, all right. Still in, I found that the 3.4 miles an hour is kind of good, 67 calories a burn. Uh, back to Paul's portrait here. We just used a uh, alizarin crimson for his face, not really focused in. Uh, do you like that name, alizarin crimson? Familiar with that? But it sounds good. It's a, it's a really kind of, Kind of sexy, huh? Yeah. You feel sexy with that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. All and right, my see. My children wouldn't understand. Yeah, well, who cares? It's, it's, you're not supposed to understand anything. You're just supposed to keep going. Keep trying. So what if you make a fool of yourself? I can't imagine that happening <laughs> for any reason. Well, anyway, back to the painting, because this is a painting show after all. Big brush, we blocked it. It's always good to go dark with your paints at first. And now we can come in with the light. So I'm gonna use a little white here. And I'm gonna hit his, hit his area here, his forehead, his nose, his mouth, okay? And we're still blocking in. We're not focused on anything yet. We're just feeling him out, feeling out Mr. Lamont, okay? All right, now. I do have a little brush, and sometimes it's nice to resort to the little brush when times ask for it. And there's no correct time to be asked to use a little brush, but if you can, avoid to use it for as long as possible. It helps in terms of getting a painting done as fast as possible. Okay, but anyway, sometimes it's nice to resort to the small brush. Okay, those fried uh, pickles are kind of smelling kind of good. Okay, let's put his hat up there. Nice, uh, is that a, uh, what kind of hat is that now, Lamont? I'm not, not absolutely certain of its name, but I know that the brim is called a stinky brim. It's a stinky brim? Brim. Brim, stinky Maybe brim. Stingy brim. Oh, okay. One or the other. One oh, or I, the thought, other. I thought you said Brit like you're British. No, no, no. You're British or something like a bunch of Brits would wear, like a hooligans or something. No <laughs> hooligans. You don't like hooligans? Uh, they're, they're very nice. You, you, don't, you don't play that game. You don't play soccer. You didn't get into the World Cup. I, I enjoyed the World Cup, but I had to hang up my own boots at 15, I think. Uh, it was enough at yeah. that point. That you you did enough Cup. as a youngster. Oh, that, yeah. That, that stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah I kinda, did, did you follow the World Cup, John? I sure did. Uh, I actually natural, huh? Yeah, no, I, I like I like sports, but uh, you know, I never played it as a kid. You know, I grew up here. We played football, and uh, I'm a big Raiders fan, Oakland Raiders fan. But that's where I'm from. Hey, these things looking good. Uh, 
we just flipped over the fried pickles, okay? And uh, you know, they're kind of smelling good. I don't know, I think you could fry anything, just about anything. And that greasy stuff just kind of smells kind of good, by the way. Uh, no, but I was a big football fan, loved it. And, uh, but I got kind of tired of it. Though I still watch, I'm still kind of curious. You know, it's a good diversion, as is a show like this, from as is art, as is any kind of thing that you do to escape uh, regular turmoils of life. Yeah, this is, this, yeah go ahead. Can I ask you a question? John? Yes, sir. What came first, the exercising or the painting? Well, that's a good question because oh, I know. as a child, I was, I played a lot of sports as a kid, yeah. But I also did a lot of art. But when did I put the two together? Good question. Uh, and then the cooking <laughs> on top of that. Not sure. But I think what happened is, is that when you, when you have these long periods of not being on TV, not being on the limelight, you have time to think and you start to think about things and you start to think about what you could do to make it more invigorating, more exciting, more exciting for the viewer because this show is for you to get out there and be inspired to do something creative with your life. Cook for God's sakes, paint, exercise, the three wonderful endeavors that we have as humans to do here on this life. So I don't know if I answered that question for you, Lamont, but I gave it a shot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we're at, let's try to speed up things. Uh, we're at five miles an hour here, okay? And uh, let's, uh, let's bring in his, uh, his shirt here. Okay, he's got kind of, it's a white shirt, but as you notice, I went really dark with it. It's okay. It's okay to ruin it, mess it up. Doesn't matter because we have time. We have a whole nother show, whole hour to fix it. So it's good to just, if you will, screw it up. I would have used another word, but let's just say screw it up, mess it up first, and then jump in the deep end and then come back and fix it. Okay, let's slow it down here. I think those fried eggs, oh, uh, well, I mean, whoa. Whoa, Jeff and Jeff, frozen plastic. All right. Okay, they're in the back there. Okay, let's slow it down. Whoa. Okay, we've done 0.88 miles. If you were curious. All right. Anyway, it's good to just let the experience you have over here in the painting. Uh, do you do that as a writer? Lamont, you go to a coffee shop, you write a sentence, and then maybe you say, oh, what the hell? I'm gonna get me another refill. Or maybe just head home and take a nap. Take I mean, a one nap. sentence. Are you a wonderful, you, you must be a, be a wonderful nap taker, Lamont. <laughs> yeah, I can spend most of my time sleeping. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I, I must confess, I'm a dreamer too. And I think most people create a mind, enjoy the dream, enjoy the naps, the midday naps, knowing that the rest of the world's out there working their butts off at their nine to five jobs, showing up at like 9.15, going to coffee break at 10, uh, everybody else goes at around 11. Nothing really gets done. Then lunch time. Lunch is from like 11, 11 to 3. And then people start going home. <sighs> nothing really gets done. And everybody works so hard to do nothing in these big corporations. Wouldn't you say? A lot of waste. At least. As it should be. Well, maybe so. At least we don't, we don't make no bones about it. We take the excuse to take a nap. We enjoy ourselves. That freedom. Of course, we're not getting paid to do this either. Now, um, let's get these guys off the grill. They're how ready. How many calories so far? Uh, uh, it's coming up. Is this going to end up being calorie neutral? You'll have the fried foods. This is a one way to enjoy your fat-driven diet is to uh, get a lot of stuff done. Now, look at that. I'm really tempted.